Imagine the unimaginable. A star so incredibly dense that a mere teaspoonful of its matter weighs a staggering billion tons. Welcome, my friends, to the thrilling and mystifying world of neutron stars. These celestial bodies left behind by massive stars that explode in staggering supernovae contain a core so incredibly dense and gravity so immensely strong it defies all comprehension. In the vast, awe-inspiring cosmic theatre, neutron stars take center stage. Their extreme conditions offer a unique and utterly fascinating testing ground for theories of matter and energy. First discovered in the mid-20th century, they continue to puzzle and absolutely captivate scientists with their mind-boggling properties. Neutron stars, the amazing lighthouses of the universe, spin at unbelievable speeds, emitting striking beams of radiation. With intense magnetic fields a million times stronger than the Earth's strongest magnet and their dizzyingly rapid rotation, they stand as some of the most spellbinding objects in the cosmos. So buckle up, folks, as we dive into the question, what actually are these neutron stars made of? To understand the composition of neutron stars, we first need to understand how they are formed. Let's embark on a cosmic journey, tracing the footsteps of a star's life, leading us to the birth of a neutron star. Our story begins with a star that's much larger than our sun. When such a star has exhausted its nuclear fuel, it no longer has the energy to support its own weight. This leads to a catastrophic collapse under its own gravity, followed by a powerful explosion known as a supernova. The heart of this explosion is a spectacle of cosmic proportions. Within seconds, the core of the star, which was once about the size of the Earth, collapses to a sphere only 20 kilometers in diameter. This rapid compression causes the protons and electrons in the core to combine and form neutrons, giving birth to a neutron star. But wait, what's so special about this neutron star? Well, imagine compressing a mass greater than our sun into a sphere just 20 kilometers across. What you get is an object so dense that a sugar cube sized amount of its material would weigh about as much as a mountain on Earth. The formation of a neutron star is a violent process, but it doesn't end there. The newborn neutron star spins rapidly up to several hundred times per second due to the conservation of angular momentum. Additionally, it possesses an incredibly strong magnetic field, millions of times stronger than the strongest magnetic field ever produced on Earth. This is the birth of a neutron star, a cosmic object of extreme conditions. It's a tale of destruction and rebirth, a stellar phoenix rising from the ashes of a supernova, but our journey doesn't end here. The neutron star continues to evolve, harboring within it a myriad of fascinating phenomena waiting to be explored. Thus, the birth of a neutron star is a tale of destruction and rebirth. But what happens inside this newborn star? Well, that's a story for another time. For now, let's marvel at the cosmic drama that has unfolded and the celestial wonder that has been born. Now, let's delve into the heart of the neutron star, its core. As we venture into the depths of a neutron star, the first thing to note is the extreme gravitational pressure at its core. This pressure is so immense that it forces electrons and protons to merge, forming a dense sea of neutrons. Quite a remarkable process, isn't it? Let's try to comprehend the scale of this density. Imagine you had a thimble, a small container usually used for sewing. Now picture filling that thimble with this material from the core of a neutron star. The weight of that tiny thimble full of matter would be about the same as 400 million elephants. That's the colossal density we are talking about here now. What about the pressure within this core? The pressure at the heart of a neutron star is so high that it exceeds the pressures found in the cores of all but the largest terrestrial planets. To put it into perspective, it's about 100 trillion times the pressure at the Earth's core. This high pressure and density mean that the core of a neutron star behaves in ways that are quite different from matter as we know it. The immense gravitational force compresses the neutrons so tightly together that they form a superfluid, a state of matter that has zero viscosity. In other words, it can flow without friction. The core also contains a small proportion of protons and electrons and these lead to some fascinating properties like superconductivity. However, this is not just a static picture. The core of a neutron star is a dynamic environment with the densest matter in the universe being constantly squeezed, heated and rearranged. 
This leads to a variety of interesting phenomena, including the emission of intense radiation and the creation of powerful magnetic fields. So the heart of a neutron star is indeed a fascinating place, a dense sea of neutrons shaped by unimaginable forces and exhibiting properties that challenge our understanding of matter. The core is a sea of neutrons, but what about the crust that surrounds this core? Just like Earth, neutron stars have a crust, but their crust is unlike anything we have on Earth. Now this isn't your everyday pie crust or the Earth's tectonic plates. The crust of a neutron star is a bizarre and fascinating place where normal matter undergoes extreme transformations under the star's immense gravitational pull. The crust of a neutron star is made up of a lattice of atomic nuclei, a formation similar to the arrangement of atoms in a crystal lattice, interspersed with free-roaming electrons. These nuclei are primarily composed of iron due to its stability under high-pressure environments. This lattice structure is incredibly dense, far surpassing anything we can comprehend on Earth. To give you a sense of scale, a sugar cube-sized piece of this crust would weigh as much as a mountain range. The crust's thickness varies, but it's generally about one kilometer thick, a mere fraction of the star's total radius. This might seem thin, especially when compared to the Earth's crust, but remember that neutron stars are incredibly compact. Despite its thinness, the crust plays a crucial role in the star's structure and behavior. Now, let's talk density. The density of the crust is mind-boggling. It's about 1 billion kilograms per cubic centimeter at the base where it meets the core. That's roughly the same as the density of an atomic nucleus, hence the name neutron star. But as we move away from the core and closer to the surface, the density decreases, that though it still remains millions of times denser than anything on Earth. This crust, with its lattice of nuclei and roving electrons, forms a boundary between the star's intensely packed core and its outermost layer. It's a region of transition where matter behaves in ways we're still striving to understand. But hold your breath, our journey into the neutron star isn't over yet. This crust forms the outer layer of the neutron star, but there's one more layer we haven't talked about, the atmosphere. Prepare to dive into an even more mysterious and intriguing realm as we explore the star's outermost layer in the next scene. The atmosphere of a neutron star is the thinnest layer, yet it plays a crucial role in what we perceive. Now let's delve into this intriguing aspect of neutron stars. Sitting atop the crust of a neutron star, the atmosphere is incredibly thin, only a few centimeters deep. It's a fact that might make you wonder, how can something so minute have any significant impact? Well, it's the composition of this layer that holds the key to its importance. The atmosphere of a neutron star is primarily composed of light elements. We're talking about the likes of hydrogen and helium, the two most abundant elements in the universe. But remember, we're dealing with extraordinary conditions here. In the extreme gravitational field of a neutron star, these elements don't behave as they would on Earth or even in a regular star. Under the immense pressure and temperature, these atoms are stripped of their electrons, forming a plasma. This plasma, despite being in a minuscule layer, significantly affects the radiation emitted by the neutron star, essentially shaping the star's observed properties. The light we see from neutron stars, whether it's the pulsating beams of a pulsar or the steady glow of an isolated neutron star, is filtered through this thin atmospheric layer. In a sense, the atmosphere serves as a spectral filter, modifying the star's radiation as it escapes into space. So, while it might be the smallest layer, the atmosphere plays a crucial role in our understanding of neutron stars. It's like the cover of a book, giving us a glimpse into the story that lies within. It helps us decipher the nature, the behavior, and the properties of these dense, rapidly spinning celestial bodies. And it's not just about understanding neutron stars. Studying these extreme environments also provides us with valuable insights into the behavior of matter under conditions that we simply cannot replicate on Earth. So from the core to the atmosphere, neutron stars are truly fascinating celestial bodies. The more we learn about them, the more we realize how extraordinary our universe truly is.